guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a tag video. I was tagged by Mariah Sierra 94. Thank you, Mariah. And the video that I'm doing today is called the foundation tag. And there are a couple questions. And um, some of the questions, uh, since this um, channel that I started is mainly for gluten or it is for gluten free uh, products. Uh, anything that I have that I can show you guys when I answer a question, I'll go ahead and do that. So the first question that um, we have is the best packaging and I like um, foundation that has a pump to it I think it keeps the product more sanitary it's a little easier to use um, however I do have uh, a few of my foundations that are gluten-free that have a uh, squeeze tube uh, I have four products I mean foundation the gluten-free version that I found that works the best for me is the cover effects I do have the CC cream and I have the BB cream in the uh, squeeze tubes and I really like these the packaging is really nice you I can squeeze out just a little bit and normally I will do that and I'll show you guys I have uh, the cover effects I have this is the um, well, let's, let's see what is it this is the uh, cream foundation and I also have the powder foundation and I never really use the there's the application process is it has the sponge on the bottom and it has the the cream the cream I really find works well for a concealer so I would use that but as far as a liquid I will actually squirt some onto the mirror in this compact and I uh, just take my brush and dab into that and then apply it to my face so the compact is really easy and nice to use I do like the powder foundation because not only is it a foundation form, but throughout the day you can use this as a touch-up. So um, the best packaging, like I said, I find um, this was a uh, foundation by Hourglass. This is the Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation, the mattifying oil-free version. This is a gluten-free option. Not all of their foundations are gluten-free, so be sure to make sure you check that out. But I like, as far as sanitary-wise and dispensing, I like this um, Hourglass product. But here's the thing, you know, you squirt out a little too much and you can't put it back in. So um, definitely a compact is a really cool idea. And the squeeze tube seems to be a really good idea. And like I said, if I put this on top of this, if there's any left over, I can leave it for the next time. The only thing that I will say, best packaging, I like all three of those. It is a toss up because those are gluten free products. I would prefer the dispenser, um, the squirt pump. I like that followed by the squeeze tube and then I do like the compact. The compact and the squeeze tube are pretty much the same. The only thing I do not like is any product that has, um, you know, it's just like a liquid and you shake it up and I don't like anything that your fingers have to touch. If I have a long answer, I'm sorry. But <laughs> Question number two, best color payoff. I don't really think that applies to um, foundation. That might be for eyeshadow and uh, maybe lip products. Um, if, if I have to answer that question, I would say something that, um, as far as the best color payoff, would probably be more of a cream, um, like in the packaging for the cover effects, a cream product, because that way, depending on what type of brush you use, you can get anywhere from a light coverage to a full coverage, and you can layer that. Sometimes liquid has a hard time uh, building up, I think because it can get a little cakey. Um, with a cream, it doesn't dry really fast and therefore you can kind of blend that out um, where you need it, especially you know some areas you may have to touch up a little more and that type of product allows for that. Most versatile or versatile or buildable. That would be the uh, cover effects, the uh, cream that I have. As I just mentioned, that is uh, very versatile. You can use it as concealer, as a foundation, and it is buildable and I really like that. Best for travel. Um, again, it would be a cream form, I would think. Again, the cover effects just because it is a solid form. You don't have to worry about a glass jar breaking or um, in case of like a pump, the top coming off and then it dispensing all over your, let's say you have it in your beauty bag or your suitcase. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. The cream is in a solid form. I have never um, had a cream form melt in any way so I wouldn't think that would be an issue but I just yeah I find that's kind of easy you just chuck it in a bag and you don't have to worry about the bottle breaking the liquid spilling so yeah definitely going with that uh, five your biggest regret 
I don't have any products now. My biggest regret, like I said, the, the YouTube channel that I have and being because of my um, uh, intolerance for gluten, uh, the biggest regret I would have is when I first became gluten intolerant. Um, that would be January of 2013 when I was diagnosed. And I based my decision to buy certain products on what the company told me. And it would happen not to be uh, gluten-free or some of the ingredients. Even though a company can say not manufactured with gluten ingredients, um, I could pretty much, being as sensitive as I am, weed those products out pretty quickly. So uh, if I have to name a name, it would be the Tarte. Uh, any of the Tarte products, years now, it will be two years this coming January. Um, so, you know, when I first went gluten intolerant, I based my opinion on what the company told me. So I stocked up unbelievable amounts of Tarte products because they said they were not manufactured or formulated with gluten ingredients. And so I bought foundations, I bought lip products, I bought um, blushes, which I still am using those. I don't have an issue. Um, I do have a video that talks about the tocopherol and tocopherol acetate. Um, so you can watch that if you really want to find out what more of what I'm t um, talking about. But um, yeah, I bought all of those and then I couldn't figure out six months after my diagnosis why I was still ill or felt bad and I found out it was because of the makeup I was using. And so yeah, I bought their, um, I can't, the foundation is the Amazon uh, Clay Foundation. Love the color coverage. It was great. Love the color. Didn't have um, any issue with that part, but it was not, in my opinion, a gluten-free product. I've had no issue with Cover FX or the um, Immaculate Foundation from Hourglass. Have not had no issues with those, but I had a major issue with Tarte, and that is my biggest regret. And that was kind of a long answer, so again, I'm sorry on that, but getting into detail. <laughs> um, the next question is the best color names. Again, I don't really think that applies to foundation. I can't, well, nothing that I have has a best color name. Uh, I know that eyeshadows and things like that tend to, uh, companies give those kind of little silly um, names, but as far as foundation, they're usually basic, beige, nude. Um, yeah, I, I don't think those are, <laughs> um, yeah, it doesn't apply, I don't think, to foundation. Seven, your least used. I really don't have a least used right now. It depends. Um, I go seasonally, like um, definitely the BB creams. This tends to be, a, um, this is a mattifying, so this would be more of my summer lightweight. Uh, if it does get warm and really humid, not that it really gets humid in Minnesota, but when it gets warm, I want something a little more lighter. Um, I will tend to go more toward a cream foundation in the winter time because I'm using a moisturizer and this just seems to apply better. So um, out of the, the uh, foundations, and I pretty much have shown you all that I have, um, really it's seasonal, so I can't say there's anything that's least used. Um, so yeah, I, I really don't have anything like, like that. So um, eight, most used, loved. Um, again, I have very few foundations, so they are all used and all loved depending on season and formula. And so I, I kind of use those all the time. So, but definitely cover effects. That's my top. As you can uh, tell, I have four of those um, different foundations, and I have one hourglass, and I really like that. But yeah, if I had to say the most used and most loved brand of foundation, it would definitely be cover effects for um, celiacs and gluten intolerance. So. Um, I believe that's it. That was eight questions. Thank you again, Mariah, so much for uh, tagging me for this video, and I really appreciate it. I hope you guys um, were able to learn a little bit more about the foundations that I use and um, do not have an issue with. And if you're suffering from celiac or gluten intolerance, you might want to try them. And I hope everyone has a great day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.